All right, hey, in this video, I wanna show you how I use my favorite keyword research tool, Low Fruits, and take all of the keywords that Low Fruits finds for me that are ones that should be easy for me to write articles about and rank for. I wanna show how I use Low Fruits and ChatGPT together to take all these keywords and formulate uh, topic clusters from them. So then I have a strategic way of going about uh, writing my blog posts for my new blog. So let's go ahead and jump right into Low Fruits and show you how I do this. So here we are in the Low Fruits interface. Uh, one thing that I want to say is this is not really going to be a tutorial on how to use Low Fruits. If you have no background at all using Low Fruits, I highly recommend that you check out this video and I will have it as a pinned comment uh, in this particular uh, video description as well. So if you want to watch this and then go watch the tutorial, uh, in-depth tutorial, you can certainly do that. Uh, one quick bit of housekeeping that I want to mention is I am a Low Fruits affiliate. So if you do uh, use the link in the video description and make a purchase, I will make a small commission. Uh, I also have a discount code there too. So if you haven't purchased Low Fruits yet and you want to save a little money doing it, uh, you might want to take advantage of that discount code. So the very first thing we're going to do in Low Fruits is go to the dashboard. Now, this is where uh, typically you would start searching for these keywords that you want to try to write blog posts for and have Low Fruits analyze and tell you whether there's a good shot that you uh, might be able to rank. So in this case, we're going to work with 129 keywords we're going to try to put into topic clusters and they're all related to fly fishing. So these are all the keywords that uh, I had Low Fruits analyze for me. So again, if you're new to Low Fruits, all of the more fruits that show next to a particular long tail keyword, that means there's a larger chance that you have to rank for that keyword if you were to write a blog post. So, you know, how long does a fly rod last? Um, you know, there's a lot of forums and also lower DA sites here too. In fact, um, this particular position, see position four, DA one, uh, that's my website, aboutflyfishing.com. So I use aboutflyfishing.com as a place to do SEO experimentation. Uh, and I wrote an article, how long does a fly rod last? And so I have literally no domain authority, domain authority one. And using the information that Low Fruits gave me, I wrote an article, how long does a fly rod last? And I've got a position four in the SERP. So you can see uh, Low Fruits is just great at revealing uh, all of these keywords that uh, give you a chance to uh, write articles and rank in Google. So let's go back to our blogging prompts we're going to use today. So we're going to use ChatGPT and we're going to use it to build these topic clusters out for this list of keywords that I just showed you. So the very first prompt we're going to use in chat, chat GPT is, do you know what topic clusters are in blogging? There are some other types of um, things that uh, deal with topic clusters that are outside of the scope of blogging. So I want to sort of prime the pump with chat GPT and help it understand that we're talking about topic clusters as they relate to blogging. So that's why I use this prompt. Now, in this case, we're going to use GPT-4. Uh, you do have to have ChatGPT Plus to use GPT-4. You can use these prompts with GPT-3.5. They will probably not work as well. Uh, you'll need to massage those prompts a little bit to get and extract out the topic clusters. Uh, I found GPT-4 to work better. So let's go ahead, drop in. Do you know what topic clusters are in blogging? Just so 
ChatGPT knows what it is we're trying to talk about here. And the information is really good. And if you haven't read about topic clusters uh, in a while or pillar content and all the other things that relate to topic clustering, uh, it's actually worth reading. Uh, I won't do that now, but we primed the pump now with uh, ChatGPT. So let's go back to the prompts. So I have 129 keywords. And so I specifically put, using the following list of 129 keywords, could you formulate topic clusters from them? So I'm just asking ChatGPT this question. So now it knows that I'm going to give it 129 keywords. It said it couldn't find them, which that's, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure it knew that it was going to get 129 keywords. So here, here we go. Now I add this prompt. Create as many clusters as you need need to, so all 129 keywords end up in a topic cluster. So now I've got to go back to low fruits and I, I'm going to get the keywords to drop in there. So the way that I do it, you can do it in a couple different ways. You could export these, all these keywords, 129 keywords to an Excel file, grab them out, out of the Excel file and drop them in. I just use this. It's another function, but we're going to use it because it just reveals the keywords to, to us and makes it easy for us to copy them. That's all we're going to use this for, is purely just to get to the keywords and copy them. So now we'll drop them in and Again, create as many clusters as you need to so all 129 keywords end up in a topic cluster. And it's going to start dropping these into different topic clusters. So I'll pause the video while it's doing this and we'll come back when it's done. All right, so what it's done is it's created these topic clusters and typically what I found when I'm going using this prompt is I will have to prompt it again and ask it to come up with more granular topic clusters. This probably didn't use all 129 keywords. So one of the prompts that I use is I ask it, did you use all 129 keywords? So let's see if it did. I don't think it did. So now what it's doing is it's going to tell me what keywords were missed in the initial clustering. And it's going to incorporate these. So the last thing that I do is this. So I'm going to ask it this, can you do the topic clustering again and be more granular? So clusters are approximately eight to 15 keywords each. And really what I'm attempting to do is try to avoid some of these like miscellaneous categories and get ChatGPT um, to, to put some of these topics together in a way that makes more sense and leaves me less work on the back end uh, trying to figure out where I should uh, put some of these long tail keywords in a cluster. So let's see what it came up with. Fly fishing basics, fly rods in their care, fly fishing equipment and maintenance. Fishing conditions, techniques and strategies. This, this looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than what it came up originally 
uh, what it came up with. Uh, I'm just going to ask it again. Did I want to know, did it use all of the keywords? And this is great because it's given me some more topic clusters based on keywords that it didn't use. So now I've got five clusters here. So I've got 15 topic clusters. So this is, this is what I would use is I would copy this, I would drop it into uh, a spreadsheet or maybe into Google Docs. And then uh, I would start off and I'd, I'd look to see, do the keywords that are listed under Fly Fishing Basics make sense? If they do, that's my first topic cluster. And then I would start writing these articles. How is fly fishing different from regular fishing? And I'd cover all these articles. So now I have the fly fishing basics topic cluster covered. And I would write these first. Then I would go on to fly rods in their care, write these articles, and so on and so on. And this way I'm sending signals to Google that when it comes to this overall overarching topic of fly fishing conditions, I, I'm an authority in this area because I've written all of these articles on fly fishing conditions. So it's just a nice way to uh, formulate a plan for building out your blog. And really what I would probably do is I would tackle maybe five of these topic clusters get the articles written. Once the articles are written, then I would slowly release these out on my blog. And uh, while, while I have those set up for release, then I'd go on to the next five topic clusters and write those articles until, of course, I'd finished out all the clusters and, you know, covered all 129 of those keywords that were... Uh, in the list that I had put together right here based on the fact that Low Fruits is telling me I have a good shot at ranking for these based on the information that it's giving me. So basically with Low Fruits, the way it works is if we go to like the third page of my list, some of these have no weak spots, you'll see that. Some just have a single fruit. So the more fruits you see, the more weak spots there are, the greater the chance that you have of writing an article that will rank. So that's how you would do topic clustering uh, using your uh, keyword list and low fruits along with ChatGPT uh, and formulating those topic clusters. And again, um, this is what we, we did. Uh, lastly, the one thing I wanted to just mention, if you haven't seen Low Fruits pricing, um, you buy Low Fruits on a credit basis. So it's not a, like a monthly plan. It's on a, on a credit plan. So you can start with $25. We'll get you 2,000 credits. And remember, if you use my link, I do have a discount code. So you can get a little cheaper than that. Uh, so here's the deal with, with Low Fruits. If we go back to my dashboard, notice it says 1,132 credits available. So I do a lot of reports and a lot of analysis just for creating these videos. So I started off with 2,000 credits and I still haven't even used my first 1,000 credits yet. And I've had Low Fruits for about mm, two months, three months now. Um, if I had multiple blogs, I would probably go through the credits faster. But if you have one or two blogs, 2,000 credits is going to last quite a while. And uh, if you were to buy like 5,000 or 10,000 credits um, and you have multiple niches that you're writing blog posts for, uh, again, these are going to last quite a while. Uh, it, I, I just think the pricing is really good for... Uh, the help that it gives you in trying to determine, you know, what blog posts do I even start writing first? 
And wh where do I even have a chance of ranking for a particular keyword? So that's it. That's how I use Low Fruits and ChatGPT together to create topic clusters and use that to inform uh, my decisions about what blog posts I write first and in what order I write them. And of course, those topic clusters, uh, you know, just to mention these different cluster titles are going to be sorry for the scrolling here, these topic cluster titles are going to be what your your navigation that you're going to use in your posts, or excuse me, in your blog. So these all work together. Uh, and ChatGPT just makes it easy to categorize this information for you. So you're not expending, you know, hours and hours of your time trying to figure out, you know, what particular keywords go together and formulating these, these clusters. So I hope you found this helpful. And until next time, take care.